fantasy Caught in a landslide No escape from reality all right, so where to begin on this comic? Oh my gosh, there's so many goof ups, I just don't know where to start. This book's canceled, surprisingly. Um, it was one of those that they announced later on after they announced the other ones. It just They didn't know for sure if it was canceled, but it wasn't in the solicitation. So like a couple days later they said, yeah, it's canceled. You know. So they come out with this cover, it's issue 14 of Hawkeye. And this cover is very controversial, so to speak, because it shows the two Hawkeyes kissing. First of all, she's too young. Second of all, why are they kissing? Third of all, why is he acting like a wimp right now? Clint gets ever gets all the chicks, okay? It's facts. He would be kissing her like that. But you see, you can't do that because he's a white male! So he has to be the one that gets cut. Um, so here's the deal. Surprisingly, fake Hawkeye got captured by a female villain because all the villains have to be female when they're dealing with a female hero. And uh, so we have this uh, emasculated uh, Hawkeye. He's he's going to Hawkeye Investigations, which is her uh, which is her office, and they're going to talk about. Uh, he's going to try to investigate and find a way to find her. Anyway, so here's where things start to go sideways because Clint gets into the office. He's starting to do some investigating to find out about things, and when he walks in there, the three uh, Stooges are in there. Uh, Ramone, the girl, Johnny, and Quinn, the two most effeminate guys you've ever seen in your life that look like women. And the dog's winking for some reason. Well, they get in there and they have a back and forth. And the, the, the first thing, here's what kills me. This is Hawkeye. Hawkeye that we're talking about here. An Avenger, a superhero. And what do these kids do? They start obnoxiously questioning him over and over and over about where's Kate to the point to where they scare him. But scare Hawkeye. How does that happen? So I'm not. I, I'm going to do something a little bit differently with this. Uh, with this review, I'm going to go through the basic premise of this book without telling you exactly about the book. Um, and so it's going to be a slightly different way of thinking here. Here's my problem with this book. Um, they don't know the characters. They don't know about Hawkeye. They don't know about uh, Madame Mask. And it's just sad because um, you can tell. And people said, oh, you know, I like this art. It's like it's like Archie art or whatever. It's not like Archie. Okay. Archie is Archie. This is crap. And it looks like the same art that they're trying to use in the new Captain America. And, I mean, this book's canceled. So, if that tells you anything. So, here's the problems that I have with this book. They, uh, they don't know the source material. They keep trying to push these stories in this uh, um, thing here that, that that don't work, don't make sense. And here's here's one of the problems right here. They have they gave the mom the mental illness haircut. Now here's the thing: the mom looks perfectly normal. It's just like Kate whenever they first have the kid, and then when she gets older, she's got the mental illness haircut. And I'm just like, oh my god, why does everybody have to have that haircut? And then her, her mom, of course, is, is sleeping around because of reasons. And uh, so, besides that being dumb, then we've also got this villain, which really just does nothing. She tries to tell uh, Kate to um, turn on Clint so that she can bring her mom back for her. And if she does that, she'll bring her mom back. Well, at the same time, Clint's trying to find her. And uh, we have a pretty good fight scene at one point to where he drops into a group of Madame Mass soldiers that all look like... Uh, knock off Green Lanterns and uh, he pretty much whacks them all around, smacks them around, takes them out and then Madame, Madame Max pulls a classic villain uh, move and as he's coming through the door clocks him you know and then they get into a fight and then as they're fighting and rolling around they're talking and then she just randomly kisses Clint Barton for, for no reason. I guess she thought it would be uh, funny to do it. But here's my thing. She kisses him. She's a very attractive woman. She kisses him. And he goes, ugh, no, gross. Clint Barton would never say gross if an attractive woman kissed him. Okay? He might make some kind of snide remark, uh, remark you know, after he takes her down and be like, all you had to do was ask. You know, that would have been a lot more alpha male. And still we get this beta male, ugh, gross, ugh. And then he goes on about it, you know, over and over. He goes, that was over the line, mask. And she goes, line smines. Oh, gosh. 
it's just it's terrible and there's another part where here not only do they make him a beta male they make him like a jerk that that beats women because in the next couple of scenes he has her change costumes into kate's costume because she looks just like her for his plan work and then clocks her over the head and knocks her out and just takes her takes her back to the bad guys she was she was cooperating and he just like knocked her out blindsided her it's very un clint barton like behavior so as the story gets going then then that's not enough then they have to turn clint barton into an idiot because at first he had to have the sidekicks help him to find out where she was at then he uh he brings a fake fake kate which is madame mask there in the costume and uh then Kate says, well, if you bring both supervillains together, they're automatically going to team up and then we're going to have to fight both of them. He's like, oh, I didn't think about that. And then what happens? They both team up against them. I mean, Clint Barton is smarter than that. I don't understand why they have to make this, the, the original superheroes so much worse than the, than the sidekick superheroes. These are all sidekicks. These are not real heroes. And yet you make all this, the regular superheroes stupid and dumb. And I just don't understand it. Um, I'm, I'm glad that this book's getting canceled. First of all, because art's terrible. Second of all, because this is not real Hawkeye. And uh, I just don't... Mm. And, and by the way, the cover where you have Kate and, and Clint kissing um, is obviously um, false advertising because it's a totally different situation and it's Madame Mass that's kissing her. So, I mean... Ha, ha, ha. And I don't even get why she kissed him. There was no point to that whatsoever. And, you know, it would have been, I think it would have been a lot better if they had set it up as she was pretending to be Hawkeye again. And then when she infiltrated the area where Clint was at, uh, like kissed him or whatever to mess with his head. And then that would throw the whole story off because she could pretend to like him. And then Clint's got to deal with that whole situation of a younger girl trying to get with him. And then that's going to mess up the whole uh, investigation and team and stuff like dynamic and Madame Mask could throw them all off uh, their game just like that but instead you had to go the stupid route of she's gonna be cheeky and kiss him and he's gonna go ew gross girls ew heterosexuality is never the answer guys <laughs> but I you know this just goes to show you that there this is not a comic book it's not it does have some action in it but this is a YA novel this is not a regular comic you have Clint Barton as a sissy. Um, you have the regular Hawkeye is the is the smarty pants of the team, and but except she's so smart she gets captured. That's what I don't understand. And then you have uh, the Madame Max character. And there's one part I'll show you in the art. There's one part where they draw Madame uh, Mask, and she looks like she's ten foot tall compared to Clint Barton. And then in the next scene, she's not. But then when they draw her again, and she's laying on the ground. Again, she looks 10 foot tall compared to Clint Barton. How tall is Clint Barton? I thought he was like 6 foot. Is he 5'5"? Five five? Because that's what you draw him like. Madame Mask is, I mean, the regular Hawkeye that her body is cloned after is not 100 feet tall. I don't understand. Is this Godzilla Hawkeye? Why is she so much taller? Is this Hulk Hogan? I mean, I don't understand this. And uh, they're so afraid. You know, I am happy that, that at least they're not afraid to draw boobs on the bad guys. They have boobs on the bad guys. Now, now Hawkeye doesn't have any boobs because she's a young girl. But at least these other bad guys have, have boobs. I was kind of surprised by that. And they draw very inconsistently with Hawkeye. Sometimes he's got a muscle tone and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he looks like Archie. Sometimes he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I don't really understand. You know, that's obviously an artist's inconsistency. But I don't understand why they went with this Archie style to begin with. It's very silly because it, it shows you that they don't really... They're going for a tone, obviously, but they don't take it very seriously. And uh, so they're not good enough to do this style, so it comes out kind of wonky at times. Like I said, whenever some person looks 10 foot tall and they're not. Uh, so it probably could have been fun if you had done like you're doing the Captain America now, if you had done Hawkeye, but it's supposed to be meant to be like in the 80s or something, and you did this art style, it could be fun. But instead, you have a, a green-haired girl named Ramon and a uh, guy named Johnny that has lip and nose piercings and a, and a uh, beaded necklace and a dog that constantly winks. So it's kind of, it, it really is just silly. I don't, it, it, it's really bad comic, and I'm glad it got canceled. Um, 
there's all these inconsistencies with the book and uh, I'm glad CB Sobolski is making some changes because this is not going to work for me I don't get it I don't understand it why this has been allowed to go on this long 14 issues now this book has gotten 14 issues and it's selling terrible I didn't even know the book was still going until I looked it up I mean that's how bad this is now you've got both Hawkeyes in the same book but you had to make you had to make sure that Clint Barton wasn't too smart you had to make sure he wasn't too smart and the other Hawkeye uh, had to save the day at the end by telling you you're an idiot I mean, he goes through here, he beats up all these bad guys, which was awesome. He fights Madam Mask, and then you turned him into a sissy all of a sudden, which, you, I'm, like I said, you could have turned this around and said, you know, when he when she kissed him, he could have said, oh, well, all you had to do was ask, and then she could have made some kind of smirk or something. To me, that would have been more fun because he's kind of a playboy. Uh, but that's all I got to say. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Like I said, I want to do this a little bit differently. I didn't want to go completely through the book. I wanted you to, you know, tell you about the problems that I had with the book and show them to you and just let you judge for yourself. But all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Underground Geek out.